So, you have a Fantastic Four movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Fantastic Four. Right, okay. And this guy Reed Richards and his partner Ben Grimm want to go check out this space cloud that's passing by, right? Okay. So they go ask this guy Victor Von Doom if they can use a space station real quick. Sounds like a trustworthy guy. Uh, but he's not. He's actually gonna be the bad guy. Victor Von Doom is the bad guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, there was no way for them to see that coming. I know, right? So anyway, he's like, yeah, you can use my space station, but I'm coming with. Oh, is he an astronaut? Not or something. No, he's not, but his girlfriend Sue is going, and she used to date Reed, so he kind of wants to keep an eye on things. Does he think they're gonna go cheat on him in his space station? Maybe. Oh, and also Sue's brother Johnny is gonna be going. God, what are all these characters gonna do on this mission? Incredibly unclear, but they all have to be there, so they get powers. Oh, okay, gotcha. So anyway, it turns out that this space cloud was moving faster than they thought, and they get stuck in this big space explosion thing. Oh my god. Yeah, and so back on Earth, they're like, wow, that was nuts. Wait, how did they get back down to Earth. I don't know. But what do we say happens? Nothing. We're just gonna fade to black, and when we fade back in, we're back on Earth. I don't know if you can just fade to black when you don't feel like explaining something. Sure you can, and then you just keep moving on with- Oh. Whoa, what is that? Sounds like some kind of life-threatening catastrophe that we have to deal with. Oh, that's not good. Wow, wow, wow. What a crazy, wild situation we just lived through, you and I. Well, I'm glad we got through that situation. Me too. Now we're safe and sound, and that's all we need to say about it. So what else happens in the movie? Well, as it turns out, the space incident gave them all special powers. Well, what powers do they get? Oh, well, Johnny is the human torch, so he gets, like, fire powers. Oh, how does he find that out? Oh, well, he's in the hospital, and a nurse takes his temperature, and it skyrockets to over 200 degrees. Oh my god, what does she do about that? She goes snowboarding with him. Oh, she he does. Yeah, he just kisses her on the lips and he's like, meet me at the top of a mountain. Are they dating? He just kisses her on the lips without consent and she's like, well, I guess I should disregard the fact that this guy should be dead because he's into me. Wow, what a horrible nurse and patient. Yeah, so they go do some extreme sports on a mountain, but Johnny catches on fire and melts a hole in the snow. Wow, they must both freak out. Now, it makes like a little hot tub thing and so they bang. Okay, so just so I'm clear, none of these people are actually going to behave like actual humans. Oh, yeah, no, I thought that was obvious by now. And so how did he and the nurse manage to do that if his body is over 200 degrees. I don't know. Oh, physically impossible lovemaking is tight. Yeah, it is. So anyway, Reed also gets the power to be super stretchy. And what does he use that for? We're gonna have him open a door and write on a chalkboard and grab some toilet paper. Oh, that doesn't sound super exciting. Yeah, no, it won't be. Huh. And then Sue gets the power to be invisible. Okay. And yeah, that doesn't really come in handy, so she also does force fields. Sure, why not? And then Ben becomes a big rock monster called The Thing. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and instead of asking his super smart doctor friend for help, he smashes through a wall and runs home. Interesting strategy. Yeah, and his fiance sees him and she's like, oh, I don't like looking at you at all. Ooh, ouch, that kind of hurts. It does, and so he gets sad and goes to hang out on a bridge. Okay. But then a suicidal man shows up and Ben tries to save him, and that leads to this whole huge accident. Oh my god. Yeah, so the Fantastic Four have to, like, scramble and save a bunch of people. Wait, the other main characters are on the bridge too? Yeah, they happen to be on the exact same bridge at the exact same time. Wow, what a crazy, wacky coincidence. I know, right? But they they do have to get through the cops to go help Ben first, so, you know, Sue takes her clothes off. What? Yeah, well, she can turn invisible, you know, so she takes her clothes off, but it doesn't fully work, so we do get to see some stuff. Great. And so, yeah, then they get through. Weren't the cops standing right there as she got undressed and turned invisible? They were, but I guess they were still fooled by it. And how did the other two guys get past the cops? I don't know. Was this whole thing just an excuse to show a woman in her underwear? Oh, yeah, absolutely. As long as we're clear. So, yeah, then they save some people, like Johnny hugs a little girl and protects her from an explosion. Explosion. Isn't he like also super hot and made of flames? How does pressing his body up against her save her? Fighting fire with fire. Uh, that is an expression, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and then at the end, all the cops have their guns pointed at Ben because he caused absolute chaos on the bridge. Right, but then people start clapping for him, so the cops are like, oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't realize the police were so influenced by applause. Yeah, they basically operate with a clapometer system. It's just how the law works. Well, that's very good to know. So then Ben's fiance shows up on the bridge and she drops the engagement ring because she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Ben's way too ugly now. So she like saw that he was involved in a dangerous situation on a bridge and then rushed to that bridge to break up with him in front of everybody? That's what we're going with. Well, okay then. So then the Fantastic Four all become super famous heroes, you know, because they stopped the thing that they caused. Well, so what else happens? Well, they basically sit around for the rest of the movie and argue about their powers. Oh, well, I guess that'll be fun to watch. It might be. Oh, and Victor is also going to become more and more evil. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's the head of a big company and some businessmen want to kick him out. So, you know, he just goes crazy. 
crazy. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. Fair enough. And so then Victor decides that he needs to kill the Fantastic Four. What? Why? Because he's the bad guy of the movie. Oh, I guess that's a good motivation. Yeah, so he helps Ben turn back to normal and then absorbs a bunch of energy. Oh, very exciting. And then he puts on a mask and a cloak and fights them all. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so Ben goes back to the machine and turns back into the thing so he can help. Oh, and what does he do now that he has his powers back? His big contribution is that he opens a fire hydrant. Feels like he could have done that in his human form with, like, a wrench. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, so then they fight Dr. Doom in a big old fight. Oh, it's gonna be tough to beat him now that he's super powerful. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, they just kind of combine their powers and that turns him into a statue in about three and a half minutes. Oh, that does sound easy. So then the city or something throw a thank you party for them on a boat. What are they being thanked for? For saving the day. Wasn't Doom just trying to kill the Fantastic Four? They just saved themselves. Yeah, well, everybody really appreciated it for some reason. Oh, very thankful citizens. So then Johnny makes a big four out of fire in the sky and the movie ends. He sets the sky on fire. Yeah, that might be a thing that can happen. I don't know. Well, this all sounds very fun. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, and plus we're opening the same month as this gritty Batman reboot, so I'm pretty sure people are gonna like this one more. Oh, a gritty movie? That's gonna be bad. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You could also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter. Spread it around. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.